Shalom and hello. Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It feels so good to be saying that after a while that I disappeared for various reasons. But I'm so happy to be back with some Eurovision content because last year was a very big breakout moment for me um, after I started doing Eurovision reactions. And the season for Eurovision 2022 is starting. I mean, it's a slow start, but it's, it's starting and the excitement is building up. And I think you would agree with me when I say that the excitement particularly is coming from, a big amount of it at least, is coming from Israel because they're doing this amazing thing that is called X Factor for Eurovision. I mean, let's take a moment to acknowledge how brilliant that is, like an X Factor competition to pick the one representative for your country. That's perfect and I think like all the participating countries should be doing that. I tried really hard not to see like the full versions of the participations because my Instagram particularly is taken by storm by the Israel competition. And there are some names that really, you know, stood out throughout this time. And I'm going to react to one of those names. So he goes by... Okay, let's try this. Eli El Maquies. And he's singing a song called Et Yarok Mi Plastic. And I think that means green plastic tree. I have my notes here, so... And this amazing person has got... Well, now he has more than a million, but last week he had more than 800,000 views on YouTube in just 10 days, less than 10 days, I guess. But no longer ado, let's react to Eli. I'm so excited. Finally, I can see this person whom everybody's talking about. <laughs> The voice breaks throughout the song. This is so difficult for an 18-year-old male to do that because when you're 18, your voice is still mutating and then doing this ah, ah, this sort of like breaking moment is like really difficult. This means that his voice is like completely there. <laughs> Can we also take a moment to acknowledge how beautiful Hebrew is? Like every single time that I hear Hebrew when someone's singing in Hebrew, it just brings me to another land. It's just so beautiful. It's such a melodic language. I, I love it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Okay, taking a moment, taking a moment. It's okay, Oz. Don't lose yourself. Actually, lose yourself. This was amazing! This was absolutely amazing! I just cannot wrap my head around the fact that he is so young and he has all that emotion. I think this is where real talent comes from, you know? It is this one moment when you say how this could be possible. Um, my question for you though is, do you guys see Eurovision in this guy? This, I think this is the golden question because if I'm not wrong, this is X Factor for Eurovision and how can Eli be the one Eurovision star to represent Israel in Eurovision 2022? This was my first glimpse from 
Israel's potential representatives. Obviously, I cannot make a decision for myself and I cannot pick, oh, this person has to be for Israel this year. Not now, because I need to see the rest of the participants. And this will happen very soon. I will take every single day to react to this amazing Israel X Factor competition thing. It is so much fun. It just brings me back to, you know, the times that Eurovision is up in the agenda. And I think, thank you Israel for doing that, seriously. This is a very clever way of keeping us in the loop. But like I said, what do you guys think about Eli? What did you feel about his audition? Um, people from Israel, what does the song really mean? Because I don't know Hebrew and I would love to know what this emotional song entails. Um, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you on the next video. Mwah.